Hi, I'm gonna make a railgun, which is not the coil gun I made a while back. It's gonna be epic. Have you seen the railgun made by the US military? Clank. Boom. Harumph. The bullet is going at the speed of light divided by 150,000, or over six times the speed of sound. According to internet, the circuit is very simple. Basically, you have two copper rails that are tied to the power lines, and the projectile is just a piece of wire that shorts the two rails and jumps forward. Let me demonstrate. I plug it in, and now the rails are live, so under no circumstances you should touch the rails. Now I put the projectile on. Yeah! Shame. See, the projectile is conductive, so touching the rails with it is like touching live wires. Let's not do live AC wires. Anyways, the concept is quite simple. You have two rails that you connect to a supply, DC or AC, and your projectile shorts between the two rails and jumps forward due to magnetic fields. To understand how it works, you need to know two right-hand rules. The first one is quite simple. Using your right hand, if thumb shows the direction of current in the wire, other fingers show the direction of magnetic field around the wire. The second rule is a little bit harder to remember, but remember this rule. And you shall not be a dummy again! The middle finger is for we feel. The thumb is reserved for the force. The index finger is for current. You hold those fingers in this pose. If two fingers match their vectors, one goes. Um, I guess you won't forget that anytime soon. So we have two rails and the projectile is shorting them. Imagine the positive of the supply is here and the current is running in the loop like that. Using the first rule, we know that the direction of the magnetic field between the rails is pointing upwards. Using the second rule, the direction of the current in projectile is that way, the field is pointing up, so the force is pointing that way and the projectile moves like that. Now if we flip the direction of the current, the direction of the field also flips. Which means the force is still pointing the same way. So the projectile is always going out of the loop. That's why it also works with AC. Let's use my 10 amp power supply. It welds itself to the rails and doesn't move. Let's also use my super capacitors that can deliver hundreds of amps. <laughs> well, a few things melted. My projectile just welded itself to the rails and stuck. I think I need a material that doesn't get stuck and can move forward. I originally wanted to use lead pellets used in air guns. Lead melts easily and can move forward. But then I realized that the lead is also quite poisonous. If you shoot somebody with lead pellets, you don't just physically hurt them, you make them dumb. And a dumb person is more dangerous than any bullet. Oh, honey, I'm absolutely sickened and disgusted by the amount of discrimination, abuse and racism in the oh, world. It's okay, hon. Here, have some lead pellets. Oh, lead pellets? <laughs> Great! I love lead pellets. Hum. Hum. I know how to fix the wall. Let's do it. I'm going to build a wall around China. There's already a wall around China. Shut up, you Mexican Muslim communist. I'm going to build a wall around you and everybody that looks like you. Yeah! Lead poisoning for everyone. Anyways, I discovered graphite. It doesn't melt at all and can pass huge current through it. This is a carbon rod from a AA carbon zinc battery. And I'm gonna use my super caps for super power. Let's measure the current too. Oh, it's not making a good contact. Yeah. This is bullshit. It's as if the internet is wrong. I was running 313 amps through it and it didn't even move. How much current do I need? A bazillion amps for it to move a tinsy bit? My stupid DC fan can cut your finger running on half an amp. I bet the government is hiding the technology from us again. I think the rails generate a small magnetic field at the projectile. What's the point of relying on that when I can have strong magnets around my rails? I'm taping some magnets to the table and I'll put my rails on it. I use my 10 amp power supply. <gasps> Look at that, it moved, it moved. I made it, I have the technology now. I can beef it up. <laughs> Look at it go. Now with the fixed field from the magnets, if you change the direction of the current, the direction of the force also changes. Whee! Zoom! Yay! In your face, government! You can't touch me, I'm in Canada. I didn't even make it lethal. Well, hello, my Habibi. Shut up! Give away time!
Do you guys like to see curves? Me too. That's why Arrow.com is providing two very good oscilloscopes to my patrons at Patreon.com so you can see all the voltage curves you want. But you have to turn your circuits on in order to see those curves. And that's why Arrow.com is also helping with five lab power supplies to my patrons. And you know that you could be one of my patrons, right? And if you want any tools or components, go to Arrow.com. Tell them I sent you. I don't know if that makes a difference. Just do it.